Let's begin with an introduction to anatomy. Let's define anatomy. Anatomy is the study of structure and the relationship between those structures. Anatomical studies can include investigations at the molecular level, cellular level, tissue level, as well as organ level. Also, anatomy defines structure and function. Gross anatomy includes different approaches. For example, surface anatomy, such as bony markings and attachment points, as can be seen in the left diagram of the individual vertebra. Next would be regional anatomy, and this is a study, for example, in this case, of the spinal column as a whole, the middle diagram. The third is systemic anatomy. And in the example on this slide, we consider the entire system, such as the skeletal system, including its major divisions of axial and appendicular. The other major branch of anatomy we'll discuss in this tutorial is microscopic anatomy. This is anatomy at the tissue and cellular level. This requires magnification through a microscope, whether it be light microscopy or electron microscopy. Also, we'll discuss histology. This is the microscopic examination of tissue and its relation to other tissues. In order to do histology, samples are sectioned so the target tissue and its surrounding can be examined. And histology can be used to visualize tissue architecture, blood vessels, as well as the presence of immune cells in the area. Anatomy can also be used to track development. For example, a long bone can be monitored at different stages of anatomical development, and the observations can be compared to what's expected at those stages. This way, anatomical changes, either abnormal or normal, can be monitored. Examples of other anatomical specialties include embryology, comparative anatomy between different species, clinical anatomy, and surgical anatomy. The following is a clinical note of the Visible Human Project. The Visible Human Project was an initiative of the U.S. National Library of Medicine. It includes detailed anatomical imaging of one male and one female cadaver. These cadavers were frozen and sectioned into approximately one millimeter slices for imaging and photography. The data set for each includes high resolution digital images, CT, and MRI images. The images can be accessed on the internet at the U.S. National Library of Medicine website.